I have Sister Eforma Guara here. She's been suffering from peptic ulcer for the past three years. She will give her testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. Uh, my name is Guara Eforma Azine. I want to thank the Lord for what he has done in my life. It happened back then, 2019. I was my second year reading for my exams, and at that 1 a.m., I became unconscious. I was rushed down to the medical center. So at the moment where I, when I opened my eyes, I found myself in the hospital. So I was diagnosed of ulcer. This is not just an ordinary ulcer, but a disgracing one. I was always going with my water bottle filled with tea. If I don't go out with my water bottle with tea or biscuits in my bag, I'm not always all right. As at February this year, I was coming back from work and um, I slumped at uh, Barnacle Express Road because of the ulcer pain. So I tried managing to crawl down from that express road to a lonely road and I said talking to God that God please send a messenger that would help me at least give me food to eat so that I can leave that axis. So some people came and helped me and I left that um, arena. So yes, I came down here and I was telling God that I really need this power in my life. So Daddy mentioned that WF Kumi mentioned I, uh, I received my miracle that day, I know. So as I was going back to the hostel, I still felt that pain. So I was just feeling like probably it's just the last time it's going to be coming. So I got to the hostel and as I was walking down to the hostel, I saw Papa Kumi's um, banner, his face, and I was like, I want to see you today. I got to my hostel, I slept, I saw Papa Kumi and Mommy Esther, they were walking, and I was at the left hand side, and I looked at his face. I was saying, I was anticipating for him to look at me back, but that he was not looking. So at that point, I said, God, I want to see him. He just gazed at me. He didn't look for so long, he just gazed. After gazing, I woke up and I said, God, your representative has stared at me, so therefore I am healed. The following day, Wednesday, Thursday, yesterday, I tried not eating for like hours. I ate around after three, which was actually rare. I barely eat um, like four hours. I eat three, three hours consecutively. But this time yesterday, I ate around after 3 p.m. and nothing happened to me. Today I ate around 12 p.m. and I'm actually all right. I am good. My water bottle is for water, not tea anymore. I am now free from chronic disgracing ulcer. Praise the Lord. Deliverance healing from chronic disgracing ulcer. If there's any sickness that I disgrace you, testimonies please nobody should go home now this is miracle time and yours is coming where you are sitting there praise the lord Hallelujah. i have beside me here alema hope she's been suffering from itching generalized itching of her body for seven years she will give her testimony praise the living god Hallelujah. praise the living god by the grace of God, my name is Adema Hope. And by the grace of God, I am saved. I want to thank God for his love and his mercy over my life. I want to thank God because he's so faithful. I want to thank God because he's a righteous God. And I say, let his name be more high and exalted forever in Jesus' name. I want to thank God for how God has healed me. I've been suffering this since Saturday when I was in just 2, 2015. That was when this started. So I've been having this. Even when I go out for evangelism, like I, I will just, it will just be disturbing me. I will, I will, I will it, 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 it's infection. That is itching of the body. So I, and I'll be, I'll be passing through the pain. And there was a particular day, uh, November, before the other crusade that we just had. It, it was, it, it was before the uh, um, one that of his cross. 
So there was a particular day I wanted to go out for evangelism. I normally go out on Wednesday. So when I went, uh, when I wanted to go out, the pain was severe. I was not even, I was not able to go out. And I was telling God that God, don't allow sickness to hinder me from doing your word. And I was telling, praying to God that God, I want you to touch me in this wonders of his cross. And the Lord Almighty healed me. Praise the living God. And I want to thank God also how God is helping me in my spiritual life, even in my evangelism life. Sometimes, you know, if the, if it does not take the grace of God, like there are some people when you preach the word of God to them, they will just say that I don't want to give my life to God. But God took over. God is helping me, and souls are converted to the kingdom of God. Even sometimes when I go to the hospitals, the Lord Almighty will heal them. And even when I, the Lord is healing them, I was still passing through that sickness, and I was telling God that God, it is an error for me to be healing people in the hospital and I'll be passing through sicknesses. And the, to God be the glory, on, in November, after the crusade, after uh, the wonders of his cross, the Lord Almighty healed me. I am totally healed. There's nothing like that in my body again. And I want to thank God also on how God has helped me. This started, this is started. It was a particular day when I gave my life to Jesus Christ 2000, 2013, when I was in Jess 1. I, I, I prayed nicely that God, I want, to, I want to know more of you. That when I slept, I saw myself, I saw for our father in the Lord, Pastor Dobler Fumi, and I saw myself we just seated, we seated in the church, and that church was in my place in Benue State. So when we sat down, there was a cup, a, a stainless cup. It was very pure, and the water was very clean. Then the water was inside, then it carried the cup, he tested the water, then he told me that she'd carry it and drink the remaining one. So when I drank the remaining one, I woke up. By that time, oh, when I sleep, I would just be dreaming of Jesus. There was a particular day I saw Jesus in my dream. He told me that, what did I want you to do for you? I told him, I was just telling him what I want him to do for me. He was just wearing white. Many things that God has been doing for me. Even there was a particular time Amen. when I did praise the living God. <laughs> the name of the Lord Amen. behind the daughter for everybody. <laughs> Let's serve the Lord. The Lord will, will also serve us. He will heal us. More testimonies. Praise the Lord. I have beside me here good luck led. He had pains in both shoulders and he was miraculously healed. He will tell you his testimony. More testimonies are coming. Miracles are still happening. That's why you must not go. Don't go. Yours is coming. He's here already. Praise the Lord. By the special grace of God, my name is Brother Lord Lynch. I'm from Oreo history. My standing here is the grace of God that brought me here to stand tonight. I was faced some serious salaries for some past months. The very fearful day, I was at work. I feel pain on my hands, and I went to the toilet. Instead of the toilet, I began to pause blood. I paused blood almost four times in a day, for good three days. I called my friend, guys, see what I'm facing. What do I do? He said, you need to go pharmacy and the drugs is, I don't think I can afford the money to buy the drugs. And I went there, I got the price, I said, no need, there is the blood of Jesus that can steal it back to me. And I came back home, I prayed, I called my children, I said, children, it is time to pray because you are a prayer warriors. And they prayed, God have done it, and they seal it off. The one after that, two, days, two months later, I began to face some serious pain in my shoulder. It's like something running in my soda. On the faithful day on Monday, this Monday, when I came back from work, I say, I'm going to the crusades to stand on the pulpit to glorify God for what he has done in my life. On that very morning when I left the work, the thing was so serious. I, didn't, I become fear. I said, sure, I can't move this. I, can I take the journeys? Because the pain was so serious that my little bag I carried from work, to me to hold the bag becomes a serious problem. But to the glory of God, I stepped here on Tuesday night that very Tuesday night, the right hand appeared. Remain the left one. He reached night. I have a dream. They say you escape from the right hand, but the left one you cannot escape for it. And we begin to pray, to my children. We pray, pray. Yesterday night, when the prayer was going on, I feel like, oh, enter me. 
after the call, I raised my hand, they ran respond to me. From that yesterday to right, I'm talking to you, the miracle I've done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Whether it is left hand or right hand, back, front, miraculous healing for us in Jesus' name. We are going to find out what the Lord has done on are happening online great miracles are happening online just as the man of god said it started instantaneously and it's been indeed a global explosion of miracles everywhere and this one is coming from Ezekiel uchena all the way from dallas usa his son is uh chisom back in nigeria and according to him his son has been having these respiratory difficulties for some time now in fact whenever the attack uh, starts they rush him to hospital even as late as 2 a.m in the night and so this boy his son called him and explained to him how this breathing difficulty returned again and so according to him he got information about the crusade he started inviting his friends and also told his son about it he was believing god on behalf of his son for a miracle and as he wrote, after the prayers of the man of God, the first day, the second day, the third day, he's been trusting God. And just today, he called the boy, and the boy can confess that the breathing problem is gone and gone forever. He is healed. Praise the Lord. We can also tell you that COVID-19 is still bowing to the name of Jesus. On the official Facebook page of the GS, Chris Mugwanga said, Praise the Lord, I am healed of COVID-19. I tested positive a week ago. Prayer of the man of God. He went to check again and guess the results, negative. As the man of God said, he has taken COVID-19 out of his life. Praise God. And of course, we know that Osa is seriously bowing to the power of the Most High God at this crusade. And this testimony is coming in from Alakia Group, Ibadan, in Oyo State. This is from Mrs. Adeshino Rosalind. According to her, she said, a visitor testified of how God healed her of cancer on the first day of the crusade. And she keyed into that. And she has been trusting God as well for the past four years for healing from ulcer. And on the first night, according to her, she received that touch. But she wanted to wait to check the second and third day. And today, she's sending in her testimony that she is healed. She can now sleep fine and whole completely. Praise the Lord. We told you earlier, and you heard it directly from the general superintendent, that testimony of the 87-year-old woman, Mama Alice Olabanjo. We can now show you a confirmation as you see the video on your screen. Mama is alive. She came back to life as she was listening to the powerful prayer as given by the man of God. Jesus is still doing great things. And now uh, we take this from the GS official Facebook page. This is coming from Mr. Frank, he says that he was sleeping on a particular day and a rat, a rodent, climbed upon him. And ever since that day, he lost his ability to walk. This has been happening for the past two years. He's gone to hospitals and um, he's tried native measures, all to no avail. But today, something about that final amen. After the final amen, after the prayers of the man of God, he said, he received power, a strength he has never received, he has never felt before. He jumped up and now 
Praise the Lord. And just before we return to the moderator, let's take you to Ondo State, Akure in Ondo State, live. from Akure Ondo State, Nigeria. I want to testify to the goodness of God, what God has done in my life. I was very, I was seriously sick. I thought it was malaria. I went to buy anti-malaria I used, but to no avail. When I thought of it, I said, let me go and test. I, go, I went for, the, I was diagnosed for no sugar, Elsa and chronic malaria and shortage of blood. I said, what? Well, only me? I said, God, it is not for me. It's for my enemy. I said, God, you must visit me. When this crusade commenced on Tuesday, I came, nothing happened. On Wednesday, I came, I, I, the pain was just too much for me. I sat on the ground. I, I said, God, you must visit me tonight. You must visit me tonight. You must visit me tonight. I went home. When I got home, I prayed, slept off in the morning. That was yesterday. I woke up. I see that there is strength in me. I said, God, I know you have done it. I went back for test again. I was tested okay. I said, God, you are the almighty God. You are the king of glory. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done in my life. I thank God for our Father and the Lord. Pray that the grace of God will multiply in your life, Father, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We now return. Okay, we have a second one from Ondo Akure before we return to the overseer. We now return to the moderator as we'll come back for more testimonies. visited you this night. Let's listen to more testimonies. Praise the Lord. I have Sister Ruth Lawal here with me. She suffered from three months serious abdomin abdominal pains which almost prevented her from coming for this program. But yesterday the Lord touched her. from Ikeja district. I'm here to testify what the Lord has done for me in the area of my pains. This pain has been paining me since when I was in school this September. So when I heard that they are having a crusade in the campground, I told my mom that I'm going for this camp. She said I should not go. I did not tell anybody about this pain, but I believe the God that I'm serving that is with me is always going to be with them also in Jesus' name. So when I got to this camp on Tuesday, I was even on my way to the camp. I met my brother and his wife and his kids, but I did not tell them anything. So I have to top the vehicle that they should come in. So when we got to this camp, I called my mom. I said, this pain that I'm feeling is no more again. It was yesterday when the pastor, Pastor Kumuyi, my daddy, was saying that we should lay our hand wherever it's pain out. I lay my hand on this pain, and the pain go. Praise the Lord! That pain must go. I said the pain must go.
fire, please. Praise the Lord. I have Sister Happiness on all her standing beside me. She suffered from stroke with paralysis on her left side of the body and could not walk. That was June this year. She was admitted in the stroke unit and the sickness continued, but at the June crusade, the Lord healed her. She will give you the testimony. Praise the Lord. Ah, that one is not for my God, though. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. I call him the God of double, double, operation, sharp, sharp. Yes, yeah, so it happened June 4th. Before then, I would love to testify um, observation of my soul once more again, backslided, and 2018, 1st October, the Lord restored, restored me back fully, and since then, I've been fully back. June 4th this year was a Friday, and we were, we were back from church Thursday, rejoicing and praising God, and all of a sudden, we, we prayed the night prayer and we slept. For me to wake up around to 2, I discovered I couldn't walk. Uh -uh. I said, what is happening? I had to call my mom, who was by my side, that she should please come around, though, that I can't walk. And immediately, we had to call my district pastor. He prayed along with me. We had to call a brother from the district who took us to hospitals. Some hospital rejected me due to no space or the other. And Lutz finally um, admitted me to acute stroke. I was the baby in that world. I was the only child. The rest were men and old men. I became a learner. They come to me and I teach them what is actually wrong with me. But to the glory of God, June crusade, I was in my house and my district is in my house. My auntie was with me and the pastor was praying. We were listening to the message online and she said, come, you have to get your miracle. We will not wait till two years. Because the people that have stroke, they will stay, oh, your own case will be different. So she encouraged me, and after the man of God said, lay your hands where it's aching you, paining you, and all of that. And I, she told me to lay my hands on my head and connect my heart to the Lord, which I did. And after that, I said, check your body, check where it's paining you. And she told me, why not stand up? I couldn't stand, I couldn't walk. Partial stroke just with one leg. The left, left leg is the one that is not even functioning. Then she encouraged me and I stood up. And she told me, make a step. I took a step. She said, okay, from the sitting room to the bedroom, just try. And which I did. And since then, previous crusades, I can actually raise my hands up. I can wave it to the Lord. I can raise my leg up. I can walk. I can wash. What God cannot do does not end. of double, double, sharp, sharp. Is that your God? Yes. You have the miracle. Let's listen to the next testifier. Praise the Lord. I have Sister Okomo Precious here. She's been suffering from a peptic ulcer of 20 years duration. She will tell you her testimony. remembered me. This ulcer started over 20 years now because my son is 20 years already this year. I am sister Ukonu Odinaka Chiku Precious. As God will have it, I didn't even want to attend this crusade because of some challenges confronting me. But I decided to come. Yesterday night, when our daddy finished praying, even before then, he said that we should lay our hands where the thing is disturbing us. 
this site, if the pen starts here, all my systems will be disorganized. So I lay my hands there. After the prayer of the man of God, brethren, the pen was still there, but I didn't mind it. So I went to the hostel. This morning, as I woke up, the Lord has taken it away. I fasted today till 3 o'clock before I ate. Nothing happened. As I'm talking to you now, I've not eaten again since 3 o'clock. And the pain has gone. Praise the Lord! solid years. God is wonderful. I said God is wonderful. We are going to listen to more testimonies online now. Online, Sharp Sharp is also happening. This one is particularly from someone that sent it in to us. He said, as he wrote it, I receive my miracle now, now. That's Sharp Sharp. He said, I've been for a very long time but right now, just after the prayer of the man of God, I find out I can breathe well. Praise the Lord. And also from the GS Facebook page, this is coming from um, Barishua Letira. She says, praise the Lord. According to her, she is writing in from Protagot River State. She's been having chronic pain in the tooth and gums, which resulted to pains and headache. He's been there for quite some time, and then of God was ministering tonight and talked about the woman who came back to life. She said her faith was rekindled and just like magic at that instant she discovered that her pains disappeared in the gums and everywhere, all gone. And now she is free. Praise the Lord. From all of where comes this in Nigeria? And this one is Biodomoye Ebere. He said praise the Lord. I was healed of severe lower abdominal pain. This was due to gastric ulcer, but it bowed to the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. More of ulcer still bowing and flying away tonight, as we have this from the GS Facebook page. It was written in by Mercy Maxine, who says that he was sick, very sick, like he has written on Tuesday, and couldn't participate in the program. But then, after the whole thing, he went back and then he replayed the message. And as the ministration was going on, according to him, all the pain he was having that caused him not to listen to the program, ulcer, chest pain, heart problem, everything flew away as if a burden was lifted off him. And now, he is completely whole. Praise the Lord. And here is a great testimony. His name is Wedam Annas on the GS Facebook page. He wrote, I was full of guilt and condemnation, thinking that God will not hear me. But after the prayer of the man of God, salvation came to him. He wrote, Glory to God, I am free now. I have boldness to stand before God in prayers. And he ended by saying, Praise the Lord for me. This is coming from the GS official Facebook page from Akongbe Adewale, who says he's writing in from the down district. He said he's been having heaviness and serious weakness in his knees. He can't even walk. But then, after the prayer of the man of God, he got his healing. He's been walking about, checking himself since, and still now, he's still very fine. 
he is feeling very strong. Praise the Lord. And just before we return to the moderator, Rita Elumilu wrote on the GS official Facebook page, Mega Testimony. You can call this double double. She said, God healed me of multiple sicknesses. Heart problem, gone. High blood pressure, gone. Ulcer, gone. Body pains, gone. God is still doing great things. We return to the moderator. <laughs> problems gone what did I say all your problems are gone in Jesus name listen to more testimonies now praise the Lord I have sister father on see Boluati fair Margaret standing with me she's been suffering from asthma chronic asthma of over 15 years on Tuesday she got healed Listen to her testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Sister Father Msibula Atipe Margaret from DLCF Akwait. And I'm here to testify to the goodness of God over my life. Because it, it's just God. It's just God. It has just been in between life and death. I don't know when the asthma started though, but right from the time that I knew left from right, I knew it has been over 15 years. And when they told me in the medical center, I was like, how will I have asthma? I did not believe, but the symptoms, I can't stay in a dusty area. I can't stay where they are frying something. I can't stay in a cold area under cold atmosphere. But on Monday, before the global crusade, um, the moderator in our fellowship said, DLICC is a cold room, that we should take our blanket, our cardigan or sweater with us. Um, on Tuesday when I was coming, I did not remember to take any one of it. It's just only one wrapper that I took and my clothes. In the bus, I now told my sister, I said, ah, I did not take blanket and I did not take cardigan. She now said, okay, that maybe if we get here, we will buy um, nasal congestion in Ella just for me to sustain myself. And I said, okay. But on that Tuesday, when our bus entered this campground, I felt something left me. And that day, I did not, I did not believe it though. I was at the front there. After the GS preaching, after the uh, GS prayer that day, a sister shared testimony about asthma. I was not like, God, you have done this for this sister. Do my own too. On that Tuesday, when I was going to the hostel, I did not use no smacks. And just by the dust, the Plenty dust. I do not sneeze. The issue of the eyes, that is one of the symptoms I do not have. I slept very well. And I said, okay, when I got to the hostel, I told my sister that ah, I did not sneeze though, and I do not use no smacks. She now said, eh, you will testify on Wednesday. I said, no, I will check. I will check myself. And I checked on Wednesday. Thursday until today. I did not use no smacks. I did not use any cardigan. I did not use any blanket. And I do use cold water to bathe. And I'm healed. Praise the Lord.
15 years has passed. Gone. Your own is gone. And then after this testimony, we are going to listen to two last testimonies online, and then we'll go and rest. You know, there are so many. God is multiplying testimonies. Next testimony. Praise the Lord. I have Sister Oleka. She has come to testify of her salvation experience, and she also felt some hardness in her breast. She will give her testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Olekama Esther Chemika. By the grace of God, I'm born again. And I'm really sure today that I'm born again. Like, right now, I'm sure that even if the trumpet should sound now, I'm going to see my Jesus. I mean, for so many years, I'll be praying, God, please forgive me. But I keep feeling that guilt. Before I go to bed, I'll be scared. What if I die now? Will I see Jesus? But today, I was sitting over there, and after Daddy prayed, on and on some programs like this, I'll be ashamed to raise up my hand, but I didn't even know when I raised up my hand, and when I got up, and I just accepted Jesus. And I have this peace of mind that my name is written in the book of life now. Praise the Lord! And I didn't know that Jesus wants me to come to him first before he will do this for me. Four months ago, I noticed this um, hardness in my, on my right breast while I was taking my bath. And I was like, what's this one here? So I started checking on the um, left and on the right to check that, uh, is it on this one? So I'll be sure it's a normal thing. But I didn't see it on my left breast. It's just on my right. It's not showing on the surface, but it's inside. Anytime I touch it, it's hard. And I was ashamed. I had to tell my dad that, Daddy, I'm noticing something there. And I was like, is it paining you? I said, no. And while I was sitting there, I was afraid. I said, I don't want to go to hospital before I'll hear something that will start giving me fear. Already, this one is giving me fear. I'm already thinking evil. I don't want to go to the hospital. So as I was there, I was sitting down. And since I came, I've been praying that God should take this thing away. And I've been wanting to have feeling. But Daddy spoke directly to me and he said, that some people are waiting for feeling. Let them feel cold or hot first. But after the prayer, I just stood and I put my hand to check. I didn't see it there again. I had to sit down to check properly if it's still there. I didn't see it again. I still stood up to check that I want to be sure is this thing still there. But right now I can't feel it there. Praise the Lord. Pain is gone and gone forever. Yeah. Online. Great things still happening online as we begin from Bayelsa, where Blessing Ogay told us, wrote on the GS Facebook page, she had been having serious eye problem and couldn't look at any screen. So she had to even quit her job because of this eye problem. But at the great miracle explosion tonight, that eye problem exploded and disappeared. After the prayer of the man of God this night, he wrote, I am healed. I can see now with my right eye and see clearly any screen. Praise the Lord. We have this from Mercy up here, all the way from Ghana Kumasi, who says that his son has been sick from Monday evening. And then this boy could not walk, could not eat. And so they connected online for the program yesterday and after the prayers of the man of God, she believed that the boy was well. And according to her faith, the boy woke up this morning, jumping about, playing around. He is whole. It is done as we return to the moderator. Praise the Lord. You will just wake up tomorrow morning and you find that everything is done. Rise up your feet now and begin to praise the name of the Lord for what he has done today. Our God has been wonderful. Thank him for what he has done. The salvation, the healings, the miracles, the signs, 
the wonders and the testimonies you are going to share yourself. Tell him that when I 